Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. It is extremely cold here in Unica Springs today. In the 20s, spent the day working trying to get the wood stove going. Really hoping I'll have that going this week because I'm gonna need it, that's for sure. But I've been here in the house for the last hour or so making some glass marbles. And I was gonna share that with you, but I thought I would share something a little different. And I wanted to try an experiment that I learned about when I was in middle school, wherein you can take a piece of glass and make it harder than steel. And in that experiment, I remember we took a piece of glass like this and we melted it down. And then we took a hammer and we were hitting it with a hammer and we couldn't get it to break. And having done some more research as an adult, I learned about Prince Rupert's Drops, which is what we're going to try and make today. I've never attempted to do this at home, so figured I would try it today. And basically what happens with a Prince Rupert's Drop is that you melt a piece of this glass, we're going to let it fall into a cup of water. And as that molten glass hits the water, the outside of the glass begins to cool immediately. It instantly cools the outside of that glass and it locks in the shape of the drop. The inside glass, however, is still cooling and as that glass is cooling it tries to pull in on itself and in doing so with a droplet shape it just creates much more tensile strength so that the outside of the drop will have extreme compressive strength while the inside will have extreme tensile strength. The end result will be, hopefully, if I do it right, a small teardrop tadpole looking piece of glass that I cannot break with a hammer. But if I chip the tail off of it, it will shatter immediately. And because it loses that strength on the outside of the, the shape that's holding it together. It's kind of similar to an arch, the way an arch works. The strength that is, is built into that arch. So. I'm not going to talk too much more. Let's just get started and see if we can make some Prince Rupert's drops. So there we have one of Prince Rupert's drops and you can see it's a little drop here and then just like a tadpole it comes back to a tiny, tiny tail that is thinner than human hair at the tip there. So the principle here is, is this is super strong but if you even sort of break this tiny tail the whole thing will shatter. But the drop here we can hit with a hammer and it will not break. You guys think it'll work? Let's try it and keep our fingers crossed and the dust bins out. Just so you guys know I'm taking quite a risk here because I'm gonna have to hold this piece of glass in my hand and hit it with a hammer. So I'm putting a lot of faith in this little thing not breaking. But let's try it. See, I'm scared that at the wrong angle, the tail will actually snap just from kind of the leverage of the hammer hitting it. So, I'm a little nervous. Alright. Attempt one. Wow. Okay, guys. I just hammered that pretty good and I can tell you that uh, a normal piece of this glass would definitely would have broken with that. So let's try it again. Oh, I let go of it and I think the tail might have snapped. 
some of the hairy part of the tail did, but I don't think the integrity's gone. I guess I'll know when I start hitting it with a hammer again. It's really hard to hold on to just that little tail. Dang. I'm hitting it. <laughs> Let's try it a little more then. Let me get a good swing. You think this is a good enough swing? Or something like that? You think that would break glass? My God. That's unreal. That's, that's pretty unbelievable. I mean, I've been sitting there beating on this with a hammer. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little dents in my table right there. Like, I'm hitting this thing. I mean, that would break my finger. Glass has been a substance that has intrigued scholars and artists alike for thousands of years, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little look at some of the strengths and weaknesses of glass. It's really a neat experiment for me today to be able to make a little piece of glass stronger than steel. Hope you enjoyed this day in the life. We'll see you tomorrow.